And them lady CEOs, I be D is what they call me. And this is Top, Top of the Streets. Street. Boy, we had your nerves over there, I want <laughs> Hey, Shamika. Hey, yeah. y'all. Welcome to Talk of the Streets, girl. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Well, you look cute. For, so, for oh, everybody who can't oh, see her, <laughs> baby, it's snatched from head to toe. Okay, she got black outfits on her tutus. I'm pretty sure these got paparazzi jewels she got on. Absolutely. All, I mean, this is all great promo one-on-one. -on -one. If you can come through, promote yourself just like this. Thank you. Um, so, tell us what you do. Where you from? What you do? All that. So I'm stop. right here from Richmond. I'm from RVA. And so what I do is I'm a registered nurse by profession, but I have transitioned from being a full-time nurse to now I'm a full-time independent consultant of paparazzi. Okay, so we're making money enough to quit the job? I mean, you, I didn't say I quit. I just said I'm not transition. doing full-time. <laughs> so I still do my nursing. I will never let go of nursing. I'm a nurse at heart. And so what I do is I do it part-time and I do my business full-time because a lot of times I was talking to tech before you all came in. And Shut the thing about it is... Um, we build somebody else's dream, but then oh, we're going to build our own dream. I'm glad that's you said right, that. Because right. so, I love a good chit chat, girl. So Come let me on, tell you start. how uh, I'm at work. I was ready to say about work, but I remember that's not smart. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, literally, I said to this guy I was texting earlier, he asked me what I do, and I told him where I work. So, and then he was like, um, do you like it? And I said that I would have to die a if I had to stay here. I would have to die. A, I would, I'm gonna die a slow and painful death, baby. Mm -hmm. And so he was like, "What do you mean?" Um, and then I began to explain to him, "Look, I'm an event host. I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm I'm a poet. So I'm a writer. And these are things I love. And so whenever I come here and I have to do this this job, this time I'm donating my time, literally giving my time away for for money." For right, monster right, game, right. but I don't love it. It's exhausting. Absolutely, literally, like burnout. Girl, I get out the bed like, hey, go this this shit today, okay? <laughs> I was on the phone actually with a consultant of mine that's on my team, one of my business partners, and she's recently retired. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I had a very similar conversation because when you're doing what you do because you love it, you're not working. That's right. You're, exactly. you're just enjoying yourself. You're flowing. The time is going by, but when it gets to the point where it's exhausting you, not just physically but mentally. Hello. When it's draining your mind when it's like a burden to have to get up and go and you have to make yourself that that's it. when it's like you know what that's why you that's I gotta center myself and get my peace Amen. I, and it's worth it once you step out on faith and do what you believe you are called to do and nurture the gifts that are within you I hear you said different talents that you have mm -hmm. that's when you start to feel more fulfilled right and see and I also think too um, when I'm doing what I love I'm less tired so mm -hmm. the right. problem is that I'm spending too much doing the other stuff mm -hmm. that's right. so somebody gotta separate and it's not gonna be me like so we have to right. sacrifice something it's not gonna be myself um so <laughs> that's <my opinion. laughs> yeah like so I do the bare minimum like well because <laughs> because what I'm trying to tell y'all is that I need that to finance my dream. That's exactly. right. And I don't mean That's no right. harm. I'm thankful for God for opening up that door. That's mm -hmm. right. But I've also been told that that ain't where I'm at. That's so right. with that being said, I'm going to do what I need to do to maintain. That's right. Okay. But let the right, let the right Friday night at the right amount. <laughs> Listen, set you apart for that good two months, okay? <laughs> we going in the name of Come on, God. In the see, we got to do what we got to do. Yeah, man. absolutely. You do what you got to do and say you can do what you want to do. That's right. That's and you let what again. you have to do go ahead and pave the way and pay for you to be able to do what you want to do. And when I, when I made my decision to go ahead and transition to doing my business full time, you have to make sure that you don't just say, you know what, that's it. I'm tired of this. I'm going to do what I want right. to do. Right. We got to be responsible. Mm -hmm. I'm a mom as well, so mm -hmm. I have a child to provide for. So mm -hmm. you got to make sure you have things put in place as appropriate as they should be That's so right. that you know you have your chance to build you have your chance to grow and you have your fallback right right That's exactly. scary for you because i remember when i when i jumped well i was i tell people all the time you I jumped out the porch i was forced into entrepreneurship like back in 2016 like full-time mm -hmm. entrepreneurship because my jobs like that I'm, I'm a cna i'm a healthcare professional okay um as well and so it got to the point where my light was too bright and people was letting me go for doing my job and having more about me, like from going to Google and say, oh, mm -hmm. what you say? She's what? It type of thing. And so I was forced into full-time entrepreneurship. Was it scary for you? Because it was kind of scary for me. I was kind of upset with God. I was like, God? Right. 
So how was it? I'm going to tell you, it was not scary for me. And okay. I'm going to tell you why I can say that. Mm-hmm. Because when you, like you said, you have a profession. You are mm-hmm. saying that you have your license. Mm-hmm. I'm a registered nurse. Mm-hmm. So if anything go down, I mean. You still got that to fall back on. Right, yeah. right, right. And like I said, once you put things in place and then once you step out on faith. And stepping out on faith can be, even though God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, mm-hmm. it can cause fear within us to right. rise up. But at the same time, when you already know, okay, I got a, I got a backup plan. Mm-hmm. I got a little bit change in the bank. Right, right, I have right. my daughter can be covered in this way. My house can be covered mm-hmm. in that way. It's like it's not so hard to do. And then it's right. like yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it's like once you get out there and you're like oh well this this is working. Right, right, now, right. I they commend people. I commend people who don't have a backup plan. Right. Those are the people who are the true champs, like mm-hmm. yourself. If you don't, well, no, not you, because you had the CNA thing. Mm-hmm. But when you have when people who don't have a backup plan and they their hand really is forced, mm-hmm. and it's like okay, like when you stepped out of CNA. You stepped out on your own. Terms. I was pushed. I know they pushed me out. Yeah, they pushed you out, but you could have went somewhere else. They didn't take your they license. They pushed me out twice. I went to one job. I ain't gonna say the name on here. No, no, no. It's Odell it. and Willowant. No, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> they might have been pushed out some jobs. Oh, yeah, I feel what you're saying. Though. But as long as you got your yeah, license yeah. and good standing with the state, you can go somewhere else and work. Yeah. I did. Let me tell you what God did. Come I was on. I was released from those two um, organizations, but the that January, God blessed me with a full time case. I was taking care of somebody full time uh-huh. and paid my whole thing. It is that bad. No, they went. They went to the. Uh, they had to go to uh, twenty four hour care, mm-hmm. and so. But from there, that's when everything else opened up. The arts and entertainment, the mm-hmm. personal development and business consulting that I do. So, I, I, God said, "Here, go." Which way and you go? see, my <coughs> jump off the porch did not happen like that. I was not. I was trying to stay on the porch. <laughs> So what people, what people don't know about me and getting into, I guess, entrepreneurship, because my, 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 my entrepreneurship is, like, different. So I'm an event host, and I provide a service, you know. Mm-hmm. So you got to donate a lot of your time for free, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. when you jumping off the porch. And so I was irritated with the porch, baby. And I was like, <laughs> that's what's yeah. obvious. You can keep that. And yeah. I'm, I'm not participating because... Yeah. I know when you book with me, you book an experience. You know what I'm saying? So right. no, no more shortcuts, no more freebies, and, I, and you're gonna pay me yeah. my worth. Um, and but I did have to build a resume, right. but I was still scared until that late. So shout out to Miss Stacy. Um, yeah. And then we gotta go to commercial. Not yet. Okay. Um, shout out to Miss Stacy for prophesying over my life that uh, she just random lady walked up to me at my job, um, and then told me that um, that I'm still or the reason if I'm in this job, what she said was. If I'm in this job within the next five years, it's because I chose to be here, but not because I need to have stayed. That's right. Um, yeah. And so that was a beautiful prophecy to hear. And then she told me that the things I was doing was dope. And she was like, you don't have a babysitter a lot of times. And so that was, I don't talk about my personal mm-hmm. life. So for her to say that, it just remind me that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. That's right. That's right. That's and that right. the things will come into fruitation if I am just patient and if I watch my mouth. That's the final left off. But, um, say that again. What part was that? She said that if I, <laughs> if I learn to control my time, okay, that God will bless what I touch. Hallelujah, Lord. But Hallelujah, a lot Lord. of my problem is that I talk too much. Well, I do talk too much a little bit, but that's what y'all pay me to do. Well, Miss Mika, now, um, before we go into break, okay. I want you to tell people... Um, what made you go into paparazzi consulting? Okay, well, paparazzi was presented to me by somebody who does not sell paparazzi. Oh, but this wow. is the strength of word of mouth, and this is the strength of a character of a person, mm-hmm. is that I know this person so well, and I know that her intentions and her heart is so good that I say, you know what, if she says it's good, you gonna try it I'm going to roll with it. And then mm-hmm. to get started, it's only $100, so $99 to get started. Mm-hmm. We're not going to go in a big debate. I'm not going to stress myself over a hundred dollars. Cause I, mean, I spend that on right. shoes. <laughs> Talk to me. Yeah. And so when real. I meet that's people that say, you know what? Oh, I don't know. That's a lot of money, but I'm like, you I'm like, okay, but are you serious? Yeah. Because when you think about it, look at your bank statement. Mm-hmm. How much fast food do we eat? Girl, that's me. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Getting our nails done. <laughs> Hello. So it's like the things that we put money on mm-hmm. and we can sacrifice and say, okay, <clears> instead of this week, not going out to eat. I'm going to put this $100 aside right. yeah. and invest in myself. We invest in so much other things, but we are hesitant. And that word that you said earlier, scared, mm-hmm. we are scared to invest mm-hmm. in ourselves. This is why the Facebook says, it's the smart thing I could have ever done was to invest in myself. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And I tell people all the time, when they say, oh, a whole $100, I say, you're worth it. You are. Yeah. I say, yeah. you're worth it. That's Probably a little bit more. Yeah. Much more. Probably. But when you come to complain to me about $100, I say, 
I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> I say, I say, but you're worth it. And I don't just say that in terms of paparazzi, which is my jewelry business, the mm. five dollar jewelry. Um, what I also say that when people come to me about say, um, the specialist costs sixty dollars. It is cost that I say, and you're worth it. What are you yes. talking about? Right. You're worth Did it. You, right. What's in this bag? Did we get treats? Yeah, I do have treats. I have treats for y'all today. Yeah. So thank you so much. See, look, this is what I love about being, <laughs> doing what we do. Y'all can't yeah. never see. This is what we love doing what we do. So let me, let me hear y'all. Let y'all hear. So Papa Rice is a nickel and lead free jewelry and our primary line is oh, $5. Yeah. And so when I was looking at y'all, I was like, these some fly girls. Yes. I thank said, you. so I thought oh, they may God. like some yes. hoops. Cause you know what set an outfit off is a pair of hoops, baby. It's good. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm You're a, most I'm, welcome. Oh, I got my Afri oh, I'm yeah. I got my African hoops on tonight, y'all. <laughs> so I can't switch them out. That's okay. But these will be on the next show. Well, Before you go though, because um, okay. we definitely want to come back, which I know your time is limited here, but we don't want to leave you. But um, before you go. If anybody wants to reach out to you about buying any of, so everything is five dollars, right? Our primary line is five dollars. Now we have an extensive collection of Z collection pieces that are very high class pieces. They're twenty five dollars. Okay. okay. And then we have our children's collection of pieces okay. that are the one dollar pieces. That's and so for our one dollar pieces, you can't get those online. You got to know somebody like me. They got to know somebody. Okay. You got to know, know somebody. somebody. Know somebody. You gotta, you gotta I know somebody. <laughs> I know you know somebody. I know somebody. I do. Yeah. Yeah. So if somebody wanted to reach out to become a consultant, if they just wanted information about paparazzi, they could call me, they could email me. My number, can I say it? Yeah. Yes. 804-852-0131. Unless you call it from um, Yugoslavia, then that's quite a cost of money. So and if they want to. On social media. What well, is that? Says. Well, my social media is going to be, this one I said, um, if you come, reach me for social media, Facebook, Miss Mika's yeah, Treasure Chest. Okay. So it's M-S-M-I-C-A-S. -S Treasure chest, and that's going to be my business page. Okay, cool. But you can just type in my name, Shamika Tompkins, because if you type in Shamika Tompkins, you get everything. Right. Okay. Because cool. I not only do paparazzi, I do motivational speaking. Yes. So I do different things. But like what? That. No, plug yourself. But this yeah. is the time to do it, baby, because you got a bunch of people listening. Yeah. Tell them everything you do, and tell them how they can reach you, get in touch with you, that's because. Right. And I'll go ahead and give y'all also my email address. Yes. My email address is going to be Shamika S H A W M I C A at Yahoo dot com because I do go around and I speak about things like depression mm -hmm. because I think a lot of times that's something that I deal with as well mm -hmm. and I like to speak about it because a lot of times people have a misconception of what people who are depressed look like mm -hmm. and they don't understand that you can look like me and that's you right. Right. and that's still right. deal with things and it's okay and it's mm -hmm. such a stigma and a closed conversation Agreed. Mm -hmm. so I try to bring it up not to normalize the disorder but to normalize the conversation so that we can mm -hmm. get it on the table we can deal with what we need to deal with and keep pressing but yes I'm always looking for people who are self motivated to come on and join my team so if you want to sell jewelry if you want to empower yourself if you want a team of women and men because men sell it too okay. yes so i'm going to support you that's right and we support one another not just in the jewelry business we support one another also in different things that go on in life it right. becomes more than just business okay it becomes family okay mm -hmm. all right well miss shamika thank you so much for having us thank so you much. yeah like thank that's you for coming much. in that was so dope you um and for my jewelry pizza sure 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 uh, now and make you sure you live in at the rva water jewelry Oh, oh yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, she was there. Definitely. And look, also, I had a good time. Make sure you vote for me for the <laughs> best host award. There's also a category that said a uh, best video. Mm -hmm. My video, my song, y'all, is gonna drop. O two one four. It's called Rad. Right, and the right. preview to the video is on my Facebook page, and it's already had over like almost a thousand views. Mm -hmm. dropped it two days ago. So what I'm saying is that for video of the year, if you want to just go ahead and just, I don't know. <laughs> Vote for Rad, feel free. Because when you do what I do, you should plug and promote yourself okay. at all times. That's oh, right. If you go to my page, should. I will irritate you because I promote myself all day long. That's what you're supposed to do. And I still but got like 5,000 like friends, so somebody don't care, obviously. <laughs> but y'all, we'll be right back. We got to go pay some bills. We got to pay the people. We got to pay the play. And thank you for being here tonight. Mr. Thank y'all for having me. I really appreciate it. The no, hardest working paparazzi in the yes, business on in Richmond. Oh, right trying there. to come up in this world. Yeah. <laughs> you won't get there, baby. And yeah, this is one on one fan fashion, art, and music. The home of the Cheryl Underwood radio show. Where the hell that actually comes from? <laughs> <You don't> <laughs> <laughs> Did you cut that off just now? That was I, no. I was. I, I love was it. Now. Y'all are bad. You're most welcome. So we gonna get together on that motivation speaker part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just logged in with this lady named Miss Michelle. She doing this 